Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Please give me a subscribe, it'll really help me out here. But today I created this very sexy Valentine's Day makeup look. We got the red lip, we got like a bold smoky eye. So if you guys want to see how to create this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Let's get started. Starting off with a little bit of Burberry. Very liquidy, but it looks amazing. I love to use this alone during the summertime, and it looks really good, like bare-faced. Gives it a really beautiful base. I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on, a little bit of a lippy before I go any further because my lips are super dry. Now we will be doing some concealer. This is the She Glam Concealer. I feel like when I use that Burberry Luminous product, I feel like I don't really need a foundation. You can go for like a clean girl aesthetic with it. But I will be doing bronzer and blush and all that a little more on the glam side today. But I probably won't use a foundation. Actually, I'm gonna use this little brush so I don't ruin my brows. I normally don't do brows first, but I did today. I already filmed a Valentine's Day makeup look this morning. It's like probably almost 8 p.m. It's already dark outside. I took my makeup off getting ready for bed and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film another makeup look. I got my Valentine's Day nails. So the makeup look I filmed earlier was more of like a romantic, soft Valentine's Day look. This one's gonna be a little more like on the sexy side. I'm thinking reds. Not quite sure what we're going for yet. I don't have anything in mind. I just know I wanna use red. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Physicians formula. Right around here. Three dots there, three dots there. That's good. Just to give a little bit, like, medium coverage. A little better. I think I'm gonna use this today. This is the Marc Jacobs Concealer concealer but I like to use it as a contour. It's in the shade Deep 53. It's nice and creamy so it works good as a contour. actually ordered some things because I was going to do like a Valentine's Day related makeup look or not just makeup look but like a get ready with me for Valentine's Day like a Valentine's Day maybe date date versus like a like a romantic date night <laughs> anyway I had, a, I had an idea for a video but it's gonna come in my package is gonna come in after Valentine's Day so I had to improvise and like film a couple Valentine's Day makeup looks. My point was that I ordered a red blush because I don't have a red blush and I wanted to give it a try and I feel like it'd be perfect for Valentine's Day so I might have to use something else but what was I about to do? Well I guess since we're talking about blush we can go ahead and get to that step. I have lipstick. This one I feel like it's a little too bright. I want something darker. I wonder if I have a... Ooh, maybe this will work. Perfect, this little Burberry gloss. This is in the shade number 65, military red. I don't know, let's just try. There's no way this is empty. I know I haven't used, oh, it's coming out from the sides. Oh, that's too much. We're gonna use a lipstick. Oh no, why did it do that? Like there's so much product on there now. I don't wanna waste it. 
Let me blend this and see if I need more first. I feel like I should have done one cheek at a time because it's drying down pretty quick. But that is really pretty. I might use this as a blush because I doubt I'll ever use it as a lippy. Maybe I'll use it today, see if I like it. I'm just gonna like pick up a tiny bit. Try not to overdo it. Oh my gosh, maybe I already did. I'm really red. Put a little bit on my nose. I look flushed and super greasy, but it's okay, we're about to set it. I'm gonna go back in with the foundation brush and just blend that, make it a little more subtle. But that is such a pretty blush color. I didn't even need to buy a red. As for the powder, I'm gonna use Cody Airspun. The stuff smells so good. I like to tap the extra like this. I'm not gonna do it midair because it's gonna fall all over my stuff, but I'm gonna do it right above my little container. Then I dab the rest into the palm of my hand and then set it. And it gives you like the most airbrushed look ever. Dabbing off the extra and then setting. So pretty. Look how pretty. That is such a nice powder. I forgot how amazing it was until I found it in my makeup bag that I lost in storage, but that looks amazing if I do say so myself. As for bronzer, I want something with a little shimmer, but I also don't want to use the same one I used in the last video. I want to make it fun. Let's use this Milani. Rose Hermosa. Hermosa Rose. I don't know why. I feel like Milani does this a lot where they put a name and then they write it backwards underneath. I don't really understand, but let's use a little bit of this. I just given it like a slight sheen. It's not fully matte. It's kind of like a, like a satin kind of bronzer. Now while we have this out, I'm going to apply some of this in my crease. Probably should have made sure that the concealer wasn't creasing anywhere. I'm just going to use the bronzer as my transition shade. I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple on the eyes. I don't know if anybody still has this or if they even still sell this, but I'm using my Tartlet Toasted. I used to love this palette and it smells so good. Tarte and Too Faced really know how to make a good smelling palette. In the other video I filmed, the other Valentine's Day makeup look, I used this. That's what I was talking about. I don't want to use it again and be boring, but it smells like chocolate. So good. Anyways, I just want to eat it. I'm going to use like a little bit of a paddle fluffy brush and go in with this shade here. It's the shade Latte. And I'm just going to go in crease with this. I'm also going to pack it on the lower outer lid and I'm just going to blend it out. Now going back in with that first brush, we're just going to blend. Like a little pencil brush and we're going to apply this on the lower lash line. To close my eyes when I do this otherwise I get it all inside my eye. With that same pencil brush I'm gonna go in with this shade on the top right corner the shade crackle. It's like a brown with some gold glitter in there. You can literally see maybe you can't but I can see glitter being flickered off. We're gonna apply this. Ooh, I was about to say like really light-handed but I even went too heavy. Wait, before I go any further, I'm gonna use some tape to give it like a winged look. I mentioned in my other video, tape it on any body part before you tape it on your face, otherwise it's gonna pick up your foundation underneath. It's so hard to tell when you have clear tape if, um, if you like stuck it on even. I should get like, like artists use this tape to tape down paper onto the table and it's like normally colored. I 
anyways, we're just gonna go in with this. So we're kind of gonna create like a little C shape here, like from the crease and then down by the lash line. I feel like this is very beginner friendly because tape makes everything look very professional. Now we can start blending towards the middle of the eye. Go back and with one of your other brushes, I'm choosing the little paddle brush of the product that's left on there is going to help blend until it looks nice and blended. But once you start to blend, the sparkles kind of just disappear. Now on the very tip, we're going to blend in pretty far in on the crease. It's okay if it looks a little messy on the inside, we'll fix it up later. See how far I'm going? Now, if you're a beginner at eyeshadow and this all seems too advanced for you, you could skip this step. You could have been done there and just added like the shimmer on the inside, which we'll do later, but you can totally skip this step. Okay, going back in with the other brush, we're just gonna blend. Blending is key to having a good looking eyeshadow. You just gotta blend until your arm falls off. My arm literally hurts. <laughs> back in with that first fluffy brush and we're just gonna blend some more. Windshield wiper motion. I'm just gonna go back in with that brush, see if I can get some of the gold little speckles back up there. I feel like you can kind of see it a little bit, but I'm just gonna push in the product just on the outer corner where we want it to be like the deepest. I can only see it in certain lighting. It looks very sparkly in there, like in the pan. I don't even know if it's picking up on camera. And once you put it on, it kind of just disappears. I peel this tape off. Have a little wing going on if you don't know how to do like a wing liner this is super easy grab a tiny little paddle brush like this and i'm going to use that same brown and blend underneath from the eyeshadow about halfway on the bottom lash line so now we got that smoky lower lash line i'm going to go into the bobby brown night drama palette this palette is the best and for only one reason this shade right here this is gold my husband got me this for i think it was christmas one year and at first i opened it and i was like i have these shades i have so many palettes i was like that was so unnecessary i mean i appreciated the gift but at the same time i feel like felt bad that he wasted his money getting me an eyeshadow palette when i probably have every single one of these shades and my other palettes until i tried this shade there's nothing like this shade. I literally would travel with this eyeshadow palette just for this shade. I'm gonna use my finger. This shade is so pretty. I don't even know how to describe it. If you use your finger and like drag it on, it'll be very like, very highlighty, like you would expect. But if you use your finger or a brush and just dab it on there, I kind of actually, before we do this, hold on, <laughs> let's take a few steps back. I think I'm gonna go in with this She Glam Concealer. This one's slightly darker than the other one we used. Just a little concealer brush. I'm gonna cut the crease. That's what I meant to do. I almost skipped this step. That's why I said you can be a little more messy with that dark shade that we used. Getting ahead of myself. What I meant to do. Now I'm going in with that eyeshadow and I'm just gonna press. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera how amazing it's looking, but it just looks like pure glitter. Now, if you want this glitter to be a little more subtle, you can use like a, a transition or like some kind of lighter shade on the eyelid, like a matte shade before you go in with this if you just want it to be less glittery and a little more subtle. I'm gonna go in with like a paddle brush like this and just be a little more precise with it. And I'm bringing it past where we had that concealer. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. I don't know if it's picking up the same on camera, but let me zoom you in. It gives it like a very wet look, glittery eyeshadow, really pretty. I'm gonna go back in with a Tartlet palette with that transition, or I guess we, didn't, we used a bronzer for transition. But going back in with that brown shade, I'm just gonna go underneath 
just too soft in that edge. So as for highlighter today, I think we're gonna go in with the Oldie But Goodie. We're gonna go in with the Classic with the Anastasia Amrezy. Gorgina. I'm gonna go in with a small pencil brush and apply a little bit on the inner corner and kind of lower lash line just a little bit and of course the brow bone so now I'm thinking we're gonna go a little heavier on the lash compared to what I did earlier in the other video I used like a half lash kind of like a cat eye half lash I'm gonna go in with this one. I think so. Of course, using my duo lash glue, the best lash glue to exist, and it's super cheap. What are we doing my makeup in the dark? Seems bright, but I'm kind of just blinded by this light, and then I have no other light. Struggling a little bit with glue on while the glue's drying. Getting a little tacky. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna apply it kind of like angled up. Give it a little push. Now the other lash. I realized that these past few times that I filmed a makeup look that I actually missed this filming makeup looks. I haven't done that in a while. I mean, aside from these last few times, but that's like all I used to do like years ago was just film makeup looks and then I kind of straight away from that and i realized how much i miss it it's just fun and therapeutic to sit here and play with makeup almost knocked off by that red lipstick it's like standing straight up like this open <laughs> right in front of me and i almost knocked it over onto my carpet i don't want to close it yet because i feel like i'm gonna get the product all in the lid and i might try it on my lip today and see if it'll work While I'm letting this get tacky, I'm gonna go in with a tweezer like this and just clamp my lashes together with the false ones. Okay, so that's stuck on there. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds before I clamp it together. Otherwise they just get lifted because they're glue stuck to the tweezers and the lashes get lifted but in the meantime I'm gonna use a little liner kind of just make a line right there so it's not like a harsh stop with the black lashes see what I mean makes a difference you just want to do a quick pinch you don't want to hold it too long otherwise it will stick to the tweezers now we're gonna apply some mascara to join the fake lashes with the real. I'm using this Pearl Bounce Mascara by Maybelline. Um, this is like pretty much empty. Let's see if I can even get anything out of it for the bottom lashes. Barely. I think this is time to be thrown out. This is a pretty good mascara for like a natural fluffy lash, but we got our bottom mascara on. I'm gonna touch up my eyebrows real quick, just cause I feel like some of it got faded away when we did the concealer. I also feel like a bolder eyeshadow look calls for a bolder brow. Never a 2016 bold brow though. Not going back there. Okay, now I think we're gonna give this little red lip a try. I'm gonna find a brush, use this little pencil brush since I used it for my lip product earlier. My battery died. We could go for like that faded look, but I feel like it doesn't look good on my lips. This is a perfect two-in-one product here. 
Should have been labeled as two in one because I feel like that is such a pretty blush. And I'm definitely going to be bringing this with me anytime I travel because I feel like I don't normally wear a bold lip, but out of all the reds, I feel like this tone of red looks good on me, I would say, but also like a deep burgundy red. I normally don't go for like a super bright or super cool tone. I don't know. I normally don't love a red lip on me, but I'm liking this. I might go in with a little bit of a liner just to deepen it up. I have this one by Stila, Smashbox, just kidding. It looked like a Stila packaging. And then this one by L'Oreal. Let me try the Stila first. It's a little deeper. Oh no. It might be time to throw this one away. Oh, it's super dry. This one is like the twist and it goes up. I'm trying to warm it up. So yeah, that one is more of a blue tinted red. Okay, this has got to be thrown away. Super dry. Let's see if this L'Oreal has held it together all these years. Wow, still super creamy. That glided on so nicely. Drugstore wins. <laughs> smells kind of like a crown, but this one lasted longer than the high end. Really pretty. I'm surprised I like it. Put a little bit more on my lips. Oh, maybe that's too much. Not too glossy though. I like how it looks kind of velvet velvety. Truly, truly surprised, and this is kind of not what I expected the look to go towards, but this is what we have, and I think it's looking really good. This is going in my makeup bag. I normally have like a makeup bag, which is actually like a traveling bag. I normally have this of my everyday makeup, the stuff I use more often. I just emptied everything on the floor to use to be able to reach easier. That's gonna go in there, because I feel like that is a really gorgeous blush. I am very impressed and i'm actually liking this color on my lips as well but that is all for this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed this sexy valentine's day makeup look that i created very smoky and smoldery and you know a guy can't resist a girl in a red lip apparently that's what statistics say <laughs> that the most attractive thing on a girl is like a red lip according to snapchat even though i feel like i, I could never pull off a red lip but i'm actually liking this All right guys, that completes this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're gonna try to recreate this makeup look or if you watched my previous video where, where I did a more of a subtle, flirty, romantic makeup look. Let me know which you like better. I like them both for completely different reasons. I feel like this is something I'd wear more for like a sexy date night versus the other one I would wear more for like a romantic, flirty evening date. So I like them both, I don't know, both are very different. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps me out and boosts my videos, helps me grow. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this. I need a minute. Go give yourself a bath. You stinky. Okay, come on out. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, we're about to go outside. This, oh no. Kona, oh, you want tension? Your breath stinks. Try not to use my fingers because I'm about to touch my face. You need a bath. Okay, Kona, I will take you outside soon, I promise. I don't want to waste all that product. I feel like it's just going to get stuck in the cap unless I wipe it off. Less glittery, less glitterly, less, less glittery. I knew that was gonna happen! I dropped it, but I don't see if it got on the carpet. I think we're clear. I think all I got is this on my little makeup or jewelry stand that you guys are sitting on. Just wipe it on my lips. <gasps> I just realized I don't have an earring on. Pause. I'm back. Put on a little gold hoop. I wish you couldn't see that ugly green wall back there. I really want to paint this room. Look who's coming in. Are you ready? Are you ready to go outside? You want to go for a walk with mom's beat face? You're stinky. You need a bath.
I think it's time for your bath. Stinky butt. Stinky butt. Oh, that was a big gulp. That was a big gulp. Let's go outside. Outside? Let's go. Let's go outside. Outside. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, no. I just felt my shirt stuck. Did I ruin it? Peace, I'm out of here. <laughs>